The main cause of COPD is smoking. If you smoke, you should be screened for COPD because early stage COPD has no symptoms. You can be screened for COPD in less than 10 minutes in your doctor's office. If you quit smoking, you can improve your lung function and stop the progression of COPD. Most smokers want to quit smoking, but many cannot do it on their own. The likelihood of you being able to quit on your own is less than 5%. People who get help quitting are five to 10 times more likely to quit. Part of smoking addiction is a physical dependency to nicotine. It's always suggested in order to treat nicotine dependence to use medications. By using medications, you can double or triple your likelihood of quitting. Some of the medications that we offer to help patients with a smoking cessation are nicotine replacement that comes in the form of patches, sprays, lozenges, and gum. Another medication is a medication called varenicline that blocks the receptors in your brain that make smoking feel good. The last medication that is FDA approved for smoking cessation is a medication called bupropion and it helps with nicotine withdrawal when someone begins to cut back on their smoking. Many programs offer a 12-week medication cycle for patients. Oftentimes this isn't enough or patients find they need more treatment. Here at Duke, we offer a more adaptive approach where we can extend the program to longer to fit a patient's needs. The other part of a smoking addiction is behavioral. One of the um, behavioral treatment plans that we offer is a mindfulness group for smokers. And this offers a relaxed group setting where they meet with a licensed social worker and they'll be offered some meditation, some mindfulness training, and they meet weekly. When helping patients to plan for their quit day, um, we oftentimes ask them to clean out their home, clean out their space of any smoking, paraphernalia, and anything that may smell like smoke. I encourage my patients to tell others about wanting to quit. Other ideas for patients when they're starting to plan for quitting um, is to set some smoke-free zones. When a person is trying to overcome tobacco addiction, they often find themselves feeling a sense of loss. And this is really common for many of my patients where they compare quitting smoking as losing a best friend or breaking up with a spouse. Making small goals and achieving them and taking it one day at a time is always something that I discuss with my patients. Quitting smoking is hard. Um, it's something that many people want to do, but by getting help, you can increase your chances of quitting. You can quit. We can help.